Um, you know, I really didn't think I needed to come here because I didn't really feel like I had any issues. <laughs> so, um, so here's what happened. Um, I got married last July and out of the blue, my husband one day says, I'm not happy. I want a divorce. So basically it pretty much rocked my world. Like I had no idea what was going on. I had no idea that, you know, that how unhappy he was. And plus we had just been married and I, um, I had so many things going on in my life at that point. Like my father had died right before then. Um, I, I'm the oldest one in the family of the girls. So I took over in his entire estate. Like I, I was the sole trustee. Um, and I realize now because my mom was starting to get dementia. So, um, man, everything just like I had all that. I was like meeting with attorneys and CPAs and, you know, there's like property people that I had to meet with. I mean, it was crazy. Um, taking care of all the bills. And then my mom, um, she started getting dementia. So my one sister moved in there into her house. So, um, that in addition to like the workload I had was, was like huge. So, I mean, I, without going into so many details, there was so much on my plate at that point. Um, not to mention I have a new husband. So, and I got a house, um, in Gross Point. He had a house in Ann Arbor. So I was kind of going back and forth and I was so spread so thin. So really I was actually on, I would consider that time of my life. Um, I was like on an overload, but when he came home and said he wanted a divorce, um, it just like threw me into like, uh, first of all, like a depression, um, anxiety that I didn't even know what anxiety was in the beginning. Like I didn't understand, like if somebody said they had anxiety, I really, I mean, I didn't, ha I had no idea what anxiety was. And as far as depression goes, I mean, I used to think, well, I'm not a depressed person. That's like for other people that are depressed. I was never depressed in my life. I mean, not that I didn't deal with things, but I was like, like I said, I was very balanced. I have a, I have a, I'm, I'm a strong, solid Christian. I always consider myself a very strong Christian and I never had anything with dep any depression. So this event completely threw me into I want to say the pit, like underground. It was so dark. It was, it was almost like, how do I describe it? Like, um, like a cloud, like a dark cloud, like looming over me, like every single day. Um, so every day it was just, oh my God, I cried so much. It was like, okay, one day would go by, sob all morning long. Then I would try to work through the day, crying again. Next, you know, then the next day it's like, oh, here we go again. I mean, it went on. I didn't really count them up, but it was over two months. I mean, that's how long it was like, really, this is like, this is so crazy. So, um, anyway, so, you know, that being said, of course, you know, you know, I know about brain life center cause I work with you guys and, um, I called up Julie and I said, you know what? I said, I really need to treat myself to this, this, um, procedure. I said, or what is it called? Treatment or so, <laughs> the, sure. the, the whole thing, yeah. the technology. And I said, you know what? I don't know if it can help me. I said, because I don't have problems sleeping or anything else. I said, but I do know that we've got like a lot of testimonials for people that are depressed. I said, but this might be different because it's situational because I've never been depressed in my life. But I, whatever I'm going through right now, I want it to either stop or to move fast. I want to get through this like, like minimal time because I can, I mean, I've been crying for two months. It's like, okay, come on. So that's kind of how, what brought me here. It was really interesting because when I had to fill out that thing, let's say uh, before this event happened, before my husband left me out of the blue, um, I would have rated like, okay, like I think one of the things was like happiness. I mean, I was right up there, you know, eight, nine, ten. I mean, you know, I mean, I never, I never would have rated any of those things like low prior to this happening. Um, so I don't even remember like all the things I, <laughs> I rated, but it was just like, like even like a happiness. I think I put four on there, but quite honestly, if five was, was mid, I was probably low. I was probably on a two. I mean, it was, oh, it was dark. That's all I can tell you. And, I mean, and where do you put yourself now? Um, now I put myself at an eight, but really, I mean, I'm probably, I'll be at a 10 before, you know, I mean, I just feel like I'm really coming out of this, like really. So it's, it's put me on like a, like a, um, it accelerated the process. 
Like, you know, I, mean, yeah. I still... You had ha- mentioned uh, fast, like a fast forward. Like a fast forward, yes. It, back to normal for me, back, back to normal. And, um, I mean, you know, I'm a very positive person. I mean, I'm typically happy, um, you know. I mean, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Um, but you know what? I know where my true joy comes from, the Lord. Um, but even with that being said and, you know, being a strong Christian and knowing that the joy of the Lord is my strength, it, I mean, all I can say is, you know, I was in such a, it was like, it was like a dark cloud. And that's all I can say. It's like every day it was just like tough. It's like, oh, here we go again, you know. Do I have to cry again? And yes, I'm crying again. And then somebody would ask me something. Oh, I go crying again. It's like, gosh, it was just, it was so, it was so bad. I, I mean, I think it was terrible. But anyway, um, and I just, you know, I needed some relief. I needed to get through it. And so, um, like when I first was going through this, I mean, yes, it was comfortable. I was going through, you know, the chair and stuff. But while I was even going through it, I was still, you know, those were my crying days. I was, still, I was still in my, in my, 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 I was definitely still in my crying days. Oh yeah, it's, it's for sure real. And the thing is, it's like, okay, I know it sounds all like crazy. Like you put these little things, oh, they call them electrodes. No, they're not <laughs> electrodes. They're these little sensor things they put in your head. And I mean, you just sit back in a chair and you pretty much take a nap. You know, I mean, and you listen to these these musical tones, and it just mirrors the. It, sh- I guess it's like holding a mirror up to your brain, and so you know you don't really know what's going on. You're just kind of like you know reclined in this nice comfortable chair. You're taking a nap, or you're just like relaxing, and you you just go through that. Whatever they whatever happens, is it just puts your brain back into balance. And here's the thing with your brain, it's like it's the central of everything. So. If you're, if you're, you know, if you have anxiety or depression, it's really your thought life because yeah, you're thinking about, yeah, he left me. Oh my gosh. You know, that's all I could think about was like, how could he do this? Well, you know, your head, your mind goes back to like, how could this happen to me? You know what I mean? So you can't get that out of your head. So, so then, then tomorrow starts and you start thinking it out again and then it gets worse and worse and worse. And until you get your brain like, like in control how can you go through like how can you you know what I mean like how can you move through life so this this technology helps you get it all balanced and you don't even know what's going on you're just like sleeping the whole time and um don't ask me how but when I saw that brain graph I about (laughs) freaked out I was like whoa (laughs) <laughs> I guess my brain was out of balance. <laughs> you know what I mean? Absolutely. <laughs> it's like, seriously? Like, my one line was way over here. My other line was over here. And they were supposed to be, like, together. I mean, so this technology helped me move forward faster. Because, you know what I mean? It's like two months of crying. Uh-uh. No mm-hmm. more.